With the federal election just two months away, things are kicking into gear with the kind of high-octane drama only Canadian politics can provide. A 63-page ethics report. <laughs> Ethics Commissioner Mario Dion concluded that Trudeau's interference in the SNC-Lavalin case violated the Conflict of Interest Act. Dion also insisted that Trudeau return his world's best boss coffee mug. Trudeau is breaking barriers as the first prime minister to violate the new Conflict of Interest Act. He's also now repeatedly disregarded the rules, making him the Neil and Lance Armstrong of ethics law. <laughs> Trudeau's behavior might be forgivable if he ever actually asked for forgiveness, but he still refuses to admit wrongdoing. I can't apologize for standing up for Canadian jobs. Come on, man, you love apologizing. Well, in fairness, Trudeau is right to be worried about SNC-Lavalin. They are one of the few non-pornography-based companies left in Quebec. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. The Liberals are apparently now planning to minimize the PM by running without using his name or image, which means all three parties are running with an empty space for their leader. <laughs> of course, Conservatives are even more in bed with big business than the Liberals. Choosing to vote sheer over Trudeau because of SNC is like finding a spider in your bathtub and saying, that's it, I'm moving into the spider factory. <laughs> Trudeau is clearly hoping Canadians won't remember the details of his violations when they vote in October. Honestly, that might not be a bad strategy because we started talking about this three minutes ago and we've already kind of forgotten. Get into it. The Beaverton. Only on CTV.